Hello, Dale Sizemore again. In this next video about installation and operation of a rack system, we'll be covering field piping. We will talk about general instructions and examples of proper field piping. General recommendations. First and most important recommendation is all field piping must be installed according to the refrigeration schedule provided by the store owner. On each new project, you will need to check the piping size, length of run, and routing to verify that it matches the legend. Caution should be taken with under floor and underground piping. If this option is chosen, a minimum of one inch insulation should be used inside the PVC piping to prevent damage to the insulation materials. Also, voids between the insulation and the end of the PVC pipe should be filled with expanded polyurethane foam to create an airtight seal. Piping insulation. A quick checklist for proper installation of insulation. Adequate clearance between pipes and adjacent walls and hangers to allow service and inspection. Pipe sleeves are used through all walls, floors, and ceilings. Proper supports to avoid vibration to prevent possible future leaks. Case and unit cooler piping. The liquid lines are sized for a minimum pressure drop to prevent flashing that could create pressure drop and poor expansion valve operation. Suction lines carry cooled expanded vapor back to the compressor from the evaporators and should always be insulated. Any suction line that travels vertically is called a suction riser. P-traps are added to suction risers over six feet for proper oil return. We hope you found this video useful. For more information, check out our installation operation manuals and the other videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks again. See you next time.